you know it's fall time, right? It's fall. So we need to have a cute little panel or whatever. For me, I'm a big mood person. I need to set the mood, set the scene. I need to have the candles, the scents. Child, I need to be smelling good. My surroundings need to be smelling good. <laughs> okay. So now moving on to the next product, which I absolutely, I've grown to love this, even with my sensitive skin. And that is the native sandalwood and shea deodorant. Okay. It is so good, y'all. It smells amazing. And I feel like things like that, like I just need things to smell good. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it makes a huge difference to me when things do smell good. It makes me want to wear it more. But anyways, so I'm going to show this to you. This is the product. I did pick this up specifically at Target. It doesn't look like this particular scent is on um, Native's website at all, which I find very interesting. It must be like a Target exclusive or something, but they do have a sandalwood and fig, but this is sandalwood and shea butter. Okay. Even though things are made for sensitive skin, I find, and I, let me know if anybody else is out, out there is like this, anything that has baking soda or even things that are baking soda free still break out my underarms. Like I'll get a rash. <sighs> it's a struggle. It's a struggle having sensitive skin out here, y'all. Okay. So this one, I had to wean myself into it, if that makes sense, because, well, first of all, I ended up trying this out because Tom's, which is the deodorant that I normally use, has aluminum. And I've been trying to find an aluminum-free deodorant that didn't break me out in a rash under my arms and, like, irritate the heck out of my skin. So this, I was like, you know what? I had tried their little tester. They have, like, a cinnamon one, I think, native from native. And I tried the cinnamon one. That was horrible. Immediate rash. Okay. And then I tried this one. And what I did was to wean myself to this one, which I still do because it's not fully, I'm not fully not allergic yet, if that makes sense. Um, I put Tom's on first and then I do this one on top, like just, just enough, just enough. And it helps me, especially during the heat waves that we were having here. It helped me so much. Um, it is technically a men's scent. So I do find that interesting. Um, but it's, you know, it's whatever. And to be quite honest, also, these are cheaper on Target uh, than it is on the website. So these are $13.99 on the website and they're $12.99 on Target. It's only a dollar difference. But hey, that dollar is, it counts, you know, makes all the difference in the world. So... I do really like this. It smells so good like fall. Again, I just love when I like, I just smell good like that. And I love masculine scents. I really do. And I like it when like, cause you know, I'm all about the balance child. So I like when masculine and feminine scents come together. I think that's why I like that chocolate vanilla. Cause the chocolate is rich. It's deep. And then the vanilla is sweet. Okay. Well, the same for the shade and sandalwood. Sandalwood's more of the masculine. It smells like woodsy, barky, okay? And then the shea gives it that little sweet hint, almost of like vanilla. So I really like those kind of things, and I like myself to smell like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so um, this, love it. it. It does help me stay drier for longer, okay? But I still have to reapply this, if that makes sense, because I think it's just, I don't know, but I have to be careful when I reapply it because I think it's the fact that I don't put a lot so that I don't break out in a rash. So I have to keep reapplying it, if that makes sense. But I would prefer if I didn't have to do that. So hopefully I can get myself up to the point where I am 
you know, my skin is used to this and I'm not breaking out from it, you know, you know, you know. So there's that one. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. So moving right along. What do I want to do next? Since we're talking about scents, I'll move on to the candle. <laughs> okay. I will move on to the candle job. Because you know it's fall time, right? It's fall. So we need to have a cute little candle or whatever. <laughs> okay. So the candle that I've really been liking, and it's the only one I get, to be quite honest. Do y'all like my little sweater blanket? or a scarf blanket it's a little scarf blanket okay so the one that i really like oh i messed it up in here so i'm not going to open it because i messed it up there was one time i was carrying it away while it was still like cooling off and i messed up the wax in here okay so it is this one thresholds sandalwood and smoke child this candle this is the big buy this is the big um candle it's a three wick it is so freaking good and it's a crackling wood wick i love the ones that are crackling that make me feel like i'm at a fireplace honey that is what i love in a candle that is what i need okay literally need in a candle so i'll show you this this one i also picked up from target so there it is there so it's a wooden wick soy blend candle all the candles i get are typically soy i don't like to get um because to me soy candles tend to be less toxic which is interesting because i am allergic to soy like as far as ingesting it but mm -mm, this is too good child i don't notice anything like i don't notice any breathing troubles or anything if i'm lighting this so you know there's that but um it doesn't bother me. It doesn't affect me. But this smells so good. Like like a holiday fall cabin. Woodsy. Oh. It's so good. It almost smells like pine too. So good. So good. So good. One of literally my favorite candles. Anytime I can uh, swing it, child, I'll get the big one. <laughs> Uh, they do have a nine ounce as well. So yeah, it smells so freaking good. So good. And I love the brown glass. We already talked about how I love brown glass. Okay. I don't remember if it was in a public vlog or a Patreon only vlog. I don't remember. But I did mention that I love <laughs> brown glass. Okay. But it has an overall burn time of up to 36 hours. And um I look, this is everything to me. It is all the fall vibes that I could ever want. Okay. It says the scented candle infuses your home with a sandalwood scent that creates an invite, inviting ambiance you're sure to appreciate. While the gentle light flickers and sends shadows across the walls, the glass exterior and round lid add to the overall vibe. Easy to display on a mantle or a side table. The scented candle is a must have essential you'll want to keep handy. So that is the copy there, but oh my goodness, y'all, it smells so freaking good. I can't even like, I think this is maybe my third big candle and maybe in the span of a year, if that makes sense. So I have a whole self-care routine okay, that I do on Saturdays, which is why when we on the Patreon, I do my little self-care routine with y'all. Which is just to eat yummy food while I watch TV. <laughs> so, but this is usually going in the background the entire time. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I need, for me, I'm a big mood person. I need to set the mood, set the scene. I need to have the candles, the scents. Child, I need to be smelling good. My surroundings need to be smelling good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Skin need to be soft. You know, like, that's just, look even in sweatpants child so that's like the whole thing for me this just 
I feel like it elevates my self care routine, and I like it because I'm all I'm here for the co cozy, comfy vibes, and it makes me feel like I'm in a coffee house. Like I don't know if y'all have ever been to a coffee house with a fireplace in it. It's the best thing ever because like you just feel at home and you hear the cackling in the back. It's literally ASMR, you know. And I am a, I love me some ASMR. Okay, okay, asthma. <laughs> y'all like asthma too? Let me know. Okay, okay. So, um, moving right along, we've got, all right, so I think those are all the scent-related things. We did that, and so now, since we're still kind of in the home decor space, I am going to talk about this little guy, which sometimes tries to make an appearance in my videos. <laughs> It do. It be trying it. It be trying it. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's see if that, okay. So, what this is, okay. I really need to do an updated space tour. Okay, because I swapped things out. Basically, I am a huge person. Like, my surroundings, my environment can either inspire me or stifle. And so what I did this time around, I haven't done it before, was switch out my decor and that I really feel like was a help in like getting me motivated for this season. And so I switched out my terracotta vase for this circle vase. It's a medium size circle vase and I got it from Target. Okay. This one I think was like 18 bucks or something like that. There was a big one and a small one and they were all doing like they were doing the game of in stock out of stock so when i was able to i picked up the medium one and i also picked up their pompas which we saw already because that was in my original background um and so i just swapped it out and put it in together anyways i might have to do a little recording for y'all and insert that into the video because it's super cute and it's total fall vibes but with the pompous dress and that and the alexander mcqueen fashion book i got behind the child yes yes it's giving everything it's giving everything so i did switch that out i really love the way that looks on my desk and you know i feel cozy when i be working or whatever <laughs> Then moving right along, we're going to introduce some fashion things because, you know, we have to tell on this channel. You know, we have to tell. <laughs> okay. So the earrings that I've been wearing lately are from um, a boutique called Milk Handmade. And that is where I got these little guys. I saw these and they really caught my eye because I love little tassel kind of earrings. If they had a cream pair, I would have picked up cream as well. Uh, I just love earrings like this that are that have that like, artisan feel to them, um, an organic feel to them. Do you know what I'm saying? Even if they had like a tan yarn, I would have done that as well. These are so cute. I think they look posh. They elevate like my casual whole eco fashion vibe. They really do elevate it. So I'm here for it. As an earring person, these just make me so happy. You know what I'm saying? And I do have some that are like bigger that have like a white yarn or cream yarn. I really wish I could have could get like a cream yarn in this kind of style of earring. But these are just so cute to me and they're fun to wear <laughs> so that's the next thing that i've been loving this fall okay okay talk about a vibe today they're a vibe they're a vibe okay and then the next thing fashion related um is these everlean shorts y'all know okay i went and got um some stuff from everlean uh, cue the Everlane review. <laughs> Some of it I was not happy with. Um, mainly the undergarment portion of it I wasn't happy with. But these shorts have saved me during like heat waves and things like that. Okay. So they're uh, mainly cotton. I'll go ahead and pull it up for you over here so y'all can see. Okay. The Everlane shorts. That's exactly what they look like. 
Okay. And they are the track long short. They're $50 right now. Um, but it says it's a premium organic sweat short made for the track ahead, featuring a high easy high rise and elastic weight band and adjustable draw cord, maybe side pockets and a comfortable 4.5 inch seam. The track long sweat short has a signature look that will stand the test of time. Plus it's made from custom developed organic French terry, which gives it a premium feel without the luxury markup. So that's what they say. Okay. Okay. And that's again, that's what they look like. Got them here. So they're super comfy. And this is most of the time when I record my videos, but I'm wearing a child. Just so you understand. <laughs> um, it'd be looking cute at, on the top. Okay, it really puts together sometimes. But anyways, so I love the pockets on these. They're really deep. You, For me, in my humble opinion, they're deep. Especially for a pair of shorts. I feel like I, can, I fit my phone in it, my little Raycons. I'll be throwing in here. Um, my chapstick, I throw in there all in one pocket. And it's, it, it be fitting everything. It's, it's kind of wild to me. But um, they're super comfortable to wear. A good alternative during the hotter months. I wish I would have picked these up in a lighter color. I don't remember if they even had them in a lighter color, to be quite honest. I can't remember if they were just black. But if they had a lighter, lighter colors, like a gray or the tan color, I would totally get that. Especially for summer because these were a lifesaver for me. Now, the only thing is that they do shrink. Cotton tends to shrink. And so I found that like, I, it's just better to not put them in the dryer. So definitely mind that. At this point, I'm just air drying them so that they don't continue to shriek on me. So there's that. Okay. Okay. So I don't think there's anything else. There's some other stuff that's like pumpkin related. I have been loving some pumpkin chocolate from human. I think it's humankind. So this is the chocolate that I've been loving here. It's so good y'all. So good. So I really like their hazelnut, which comes in like a, a green kind of packaging, but their hazelnut chocolate is so good to me. So I did pick up their pumpkin when I saw that it was available and it is so good. I love scooping it with, for me, like their hazelnut one. They scoop it with sunflower butter or peanut butter and it's like having a Reese's. It's so good. And then this one here just tastes yummy overall, like with a cup of coffee. Mm. Mm. It gives you all the five fall vibes you could ever want. You know what I'm saying? Oof, it's so good. Their chocolate is so rich to me. Um, it tastes like pure dark chocolate, which I love. I love me some dark chocolate. Anybody else out there? Okay, let me know. Do y'all like dark chocolate? <laughs> okay, look, look, it's on point. So if y'all want to try that, give it a freaking try. Okay, but here's what it says. It's a cozy combination of rich HU dark chocolate and festive fall flavors of pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Cue the flannels, uh, hay rides, and pumpkin patches. And apparently on their site, you could buy six packs or 12 pack. Wow, that's really dope. I usually just pick up the one pack from um, either Whole Foods or like my specialty kind of store, you know, that's not the big chunk store, if that makes sense. <laughs> so super good. Like, honestly, y'all need to try that out if you would like. Now, another food related item that I've been liking. So if y'all have a local Trader Joe's, I know not everybody does because I don't think Trader Joe's is global. Are they global? I don't know. Let me know. But these are so good. They're gluten-free pumpkin spice bagels. It's like, normally I don't be caring about this kind of stuff. Okay, I need y'all to understand. Like, I normally don't be caring about pumpkin kind of stuff. Like, I'm not the person that, like, flips out like, oh, my God, it's pumpkin spice season, like, every year. But this year it hit me really hard, and I don't know why. <laughs> so it hit me very hard where I was like, oh, it's time for iced coffee. Because does anybody else like that? Like, I love iced coffee and, like, iced, cold, chilled drinks all year long. Um, but I love them more so in the fall and winter time. I will always, always, I don't care how cold I am, will get an iced coffee. Okay, hazelnut, preferably. Okay, 
or like caramel. Okay. Um, and so I'd be wanting something warm to eat with the coffee. You know what I'm saying? So I like me a little coffee cake or whatever. But this time around, I picked up these bagels and it's so good. It tastes like a cinnamon raisin bagel to me. I don't know if y'all ever had tried. Um, I don't know if they still have them at Starbucks. But they have these cinnamon raisin bagels that are vegan and they are so freaking good. And that's what these pumpkin gluten free pumpkin spice bagels taste like to me. So it says here, like all of our gluten free baked goods, these Trader Joe's gluten free pumpkin spice bagels aren't just good for gluten free. They're good, period. Not not the cultural appropriation, babe. Okay, okay. Anyways, I don't know. Look, maybe they have a black writer. I don't know. Okay, so then they say they're made with brown rice flour, tapioca starch, and potato starch, plus pumpkin puree, molasses, and ground cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, and clove for that pumpkin spice kick. And we'll bet you a bagel you'll hardly notice the difference between these babies and regular TJ's pumpkin bagels, especially when they're slathered in cream cheese. Okay, did not like that word slathered. That, 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 no, didn't like that. But they're not lying. Okay, these are good. These are good. So, wait, I don't know. Now I'm confused, child. Am I eating the regular or the gluten-free? I thought I was eating the gluten-free. Maybe try the regular to make sure. Because I thought I was eating the gluten-free, but maybe they're not. I don't know, and I'm too lazy to go pick up the pack and look at it. Okay, so that's going to close out this holiday fall time edition. Things I'm currently loving right now. I'm so excited for fall time. It's literally my favorite season, and I am a person that thrives with seasons. So, you know, you know, it's just it's giving me life. <laughs> is giving me so much life and it feels like it validates the mood that I always want to be in I always want overcast weather I always want a candle lit and it doesn't seem to really make sense during summertime or springtime but that's just what I want all the time <laughs> so now it like makes sense when I'm trying to set the scene and set the mood you know what I'm saying it's like what are you doing I'm just out here living my best life. That's all. So with that, that's going to close out this video. Thank you so much for being here. I am just so grateful for any time we get to spend here together. In case you want to spend some more time together, go ahead and check out the Patreon. Check out the description box with all the links to um, affiliates. So you no know, ways to support the channel and uh, podcasts, Instagram, other ways you can con we can connect with each other go ahead and check that out. And again, if you did like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it if you would like to. And let me know your thoughts on any of these products, if you've tried them at all. Uh, yeah. Or if you would, I don't know, you know, or why wouldn't you, you know what I'm saying? Let, let, it, let, it, let, it, let somebody know. Okay. So anyways, <laughs> until the next one, take care of yourself, others, and the planet. Okay. Bye. Okay, so this is what it says. It says the scented candle infuses your home with a sandalwood scent that creates an inviting ambient. Oh, <laughs> I can't speak today. It's not sure you, I don't know. Hopefully you can see. I don't think it's going to show. It's not. It's not going to show. Now, in general, I really like their, um, I don't know, why they do that to us. Go and do that. <laughs> tastes like me. Taste like, <gasps> that's what these taste like to me. <laughs> I can't talk. <laughs> and we'll bet you a bagel. You'll, 